So when it comes to social media, um, I've been on it most of my life. And I guess I was one of those kids that secretly had Facebook on, on my DS and everything. And then I think last year I took a break from TikTok and Instagram and everything for a while. I used to care about all that, but then like a year or two ago, um, I didn't care about followers or anything. Then I recently had had my new accounts of Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, or X, whatever it's called, and I have so little, like, it was brand new, and I, my whole thing was that I, I didn't want a whole clump of random people that don't share the same interest as me, so with my new account, my goal was have people with the same interest as me and I liked what I saw because we all had like the same aesthetic the same interests and it just I didn't like it like even every time I get back on Instagram days after I'm like I need to delete it and then every day after that day until I deactivate again or delete it and make a whole new one. I don't make the new one until like way after, but it comes eventually. And basically, I every day I'm like, I need to delete this. I hate social media. I think what brings me back is the interaction I have with cool people. And but other than that, I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of social media. And I don't know, it's, I don't think it, it's brought me anything that's good into my life. And deleting social media, um, I was off of it for a couple months recently. It's not until a month and a half that I started, I was back on it. But what this topic will be, because I've already talked about this, is um, that being off social media brings you towards your true self because you're not consuming other people's personalities or style ways of thinking morals even politics you'll be more in tune with yourself and if you want to learn specific things such as politics and all of that you'll go your own way rather than listening to opinions and even taking in false information fake news from random people on TikTok, Twitter, whatever. And what I noticed the last time I was off social media for quite a while, almost a year, was it? Six months? Three months? I seriously don't remember. <coughs> but um, I do know that I stopped caring about brand things like oh, only Nike or just dumb stuff like that. And I remember we went to Ross one time and I was looking for like summer shoes. And without social media or anybody, I was like so, so grounded at that time. I'm, I'm going towards that right now again, now that I deleted social media again. And I remember just wanting to get any shoes. It was like gra grandma shoes. And what I'm trying to say with that is you start to not care about what, about brands, about materialistic things. And you do everything at your own pace. You start to have your own style. I mean, you could have Pinterest for inspiration because I mean you're the one who looks it up and then it shows you what you look up so it's basically your style and I don't know it's just your your true self when you don't have social media and I say if you like sharing parts of your life and you want to document your thoughts and everything I think YouTube is a really good platform for that because why? I don't know. <laughs> I said all that. 
I have my reasons, but I don't know if I want to say, but it's a bit more genuine since you're actually talking. You're not like typing. It's not something that was taught, thought through for hours. It's just stuff that comes out of your mind. If that makes sense, like with something you're going to post, it's kind of just pending. Whenever you talk for a while, like to a camera, you kind of just let out your true self. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't I don't really consider YouTube a social media, I guess. I see it more like as a as a hard drive for memories, for videos, and to see how you think right now and you could look back on it in a couple of years and see how much you've grown. So I see it like as a place of growth. And also speaking to yourself helps you practice your communication, how you articulate yourself and also how you get to see how you process things in your brain and you get to watch back in a couple of years and see how much you've grown which I see it as a plus but with Instagram everything everything's like so planned out so fake it really is fake I mean I think we all know that it's nothing new but it's just something to be self-aware of and with TikTok I don't know that's just straight up a time waster I mean, if you're trying to waste your time and not do anything with your life, I think TikTok's perfect, but there's so much you can do rather than scroll on TikTok all day. I mean, if you like making videos, I mean, I like making videos and recording. Mostly I do it for the memories, that way I can see them later, but... Like I've said, YouTube's a really good platform for shorts. If you like making TikTok, I like making TikToks. But I think I'd rather make shorts now. Since TikToks are so exposed to anyone. I feel like YouTube's more of a specific algorithm rather than... Uh, I think what I'm saying is TikTok has a better algorithm, better... I think the worst algorithm a social media platform has, the better for your own health because it keeps you off of it for longer. And that's why I like YouTube because you look something up and then you look at your For You page and it's the stuff you look, like the videos of the topic you just looked up. So like you build your own For You page rather than TikTok. And... Yeah, that's all I gotta say.